What's up fellow greasy iPad kids? Today we're talking about the atrocity that is Cocomelon. If you've been living under a rock and don't know what Cocomelon is, Cocomelon is a YouTube channel for kids that produces generally lazy animations with the most brain-rotting kid songs one could possibly create that serve no purpose other than to annihilate your neurons. Considering this is a real example of the lyrics in their songs. Time to plant a tree, yes, 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 we want to plant a tree. Good, good, a helpful thing to do. Yay, 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 we like it, ooh. This terrible thing lacks creative integrity and is extremely low quality, but with the help of a few good business decisions, this YouTube channel has amassed over 170 million subscribers and over 175 billion video views. That's 21.6 times the amount of people alive right now. Though it's known most popularly for its YouTube channel, it has greatly expanded and you can describe Cocomelon as more so a giant in kids' media. And today we're going to be looking at just how awful and embarrassingly lazy the Cocomelon Empire truly is. From the borderline terrifying merchandise to the questionable inconsistent branding, there's a lot to go into. And of course, we will also look further into the brain rotting nature of the Coco Melon songs. But first, this video wouldn't be possible without today's sponsor, Filmora. Finding music for content you create can be hard. Companies love striking you down left and right if they hear even half a crumb of their music. So for creators that are looking to monetize their content or are looking to have a channel that just doesn't get struck down into oblivion, you're gonna need a reliable way to make sure you can use music in your videos without worrying. Finding the exact tracks you want and are allowed to use can be a very difficult, challenging process. But Filmora is a video editor for creators that removes that issue. Their latest AI audio technology is something that can help creators take their video's audio-visual experiences to the next level. They've had a major update for the AI music generator that has added new genres it can create for. You can generate tracks just by choosing a mood, theme, genre, tempo, and duration, and then boom, audio track. Another super useful tool they have is the AI audio stretch. Here, if your track ends too early, instead of having to go back and do trial and error to figure out how to loop the music just right, this tool will extend your track for you without you doing any of the hard work yourself. Something I find super neat is the audio visualizer effect. I use audio visualizers all the time in my content and I just think they're neat, but sometimes they can be complicated to set up. But with Filmora, you have tons of cool options for audio visualizers available for you to use. Just take the effect, put it over your clip, and it's done. They also have auto beat sync where you simply take your footage and a background track and Filmora will sync the visual up to match the beat. And last but not least is a super useful feature called audio denoise, which will take out all background noise in the click of a button. All of Filmora's audio features really enhance the overall audio visual quality of your videos. So if all of this is interesting to you and you want access to these features, download Filmora for free using my link in the description and you can get free music tailored to your liking. Thanks Filmora for sponsoring this video. Now back to the melon. The first thing we need to address about Cocomelon is how they have breached containment. Cocomelon used to just be confined to YouTube, but now on Netflix it has two separate series. One is just the typical songs you see on YouTube, you know, the collection of poorly animated nursery rhymes, and the other is Cocomelon Lane. It's a monstrosity, walking around, wearing the skin of a functional show. It may look normal, it may look fine, but underneath this show is the rot of horrible design and terrible songwriting that Cocomelon is known for. Now, if listening to the songs on Netflix or YouTube isn't enough for you, and you're desperate to listen to the awful music of Cocomelon, they have you covered because Cocomelon is an artist on Spotify with over 3 million listeners. Their top three hits being Wheels on the Bus, Ba Ba Black Sheep, and Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And they have far more albums than they should. If you're listening to Cocomelon, if you're watching Cocomelon, but you're a greasy iPad child who is desperately trying to disintegrate their brain and needs an even stronger fix of Cocomelon, if watching Cocomelon through the screen isn't enough, don't worry. There is Cocomelon in real life. See, they have, um, they have a stage play. <laughs> There's no other way to sum it up other than to say it's just actors wearing Cocomelon masks, Fortnite emoting. 
the show looks embarrassing and instead of having big reviews from popular websites or noteworthy people popping up on screen, they have vague phrases quoted from random Ticketmaster reviews. Now the biggest thing Kokomon has expanded into is the merchandise business. The amount of merchandise they produce and sell is immense. And a lot of it is one, unnecessary, and two, terrifying. A local store I went to had a mass amount of Cocomelon babies sitting on the shelf, which is honestly what made me think to do this video. This is too many. On Amazon, I found these toys where it looks like JJ is rethinking his entire existence. It looks like JJ broke bad. They also have Cocomelon chairs, and for some reason this is the way they decided to go with the theming. Just more JJ heads. And I feel like, I feel like your brand identity is weak when you're resorting to making chairs that look like this. Now one of the weirdest things they sell are terrible $34 copy and paste videos featuring the Cocomelon baby. Now the whole point of these is so that way you feel like he's talking to you. It's supposed to be a personalized message sort of thing. So it splices pre-made videos together in a horrible choppy way. He'll say a couple of lines, go back to the default pose, say something else, poorly lip synced, and then again, go back to default stance. It really shouldn't cost $34 because the entire process looks very automated. But hey, people are paying it because Coco Melon popular even though it has no right to be. See, even if we just look at the absolute surface of Coco Melon, it already starts to completely fall apart. Their poster character, the face leading this empire, is the little baby JJ, and he is an abomination of a character. And I'm not just talking about his design, I mean, the consistency of what or who he is supposed to be is so deeply broken. He's obviously a baby or a toddler, and the songs admit, yeah, JJ is a baby, through using baby sound effects or in the multiple songs in which he's acting like a baby, or the lyrics that refer to him as a baby. Coco Melon actually has decided that he's not a baby at the same time. You have the first day of school song, which means he's gotta be at least four. I, mean, I know the age in which school starts varies based on where you live, but one thing is certain, babies do not start school. They are developmentally incapable of doing so. I know I may have offended the baby community. Sorry, baby community. I don't care. So in this song, he's not a baby, right? But in the Wheels on the Bus song, JJ is referred to as one of the babies on the bus. And in one of the six songs, he's also referred to as a baby. Curious. So canonically, the lore is that JJ is both a baby and not a baby at the same time, oscillating between the two states. Now the point of all of this is just to say it's lazy, and it's number one, despite the face of their brand being a very inconsistent, poorly defined character. Now, one of the most important things to address with Cocomelon is its branding. Cocomelon likes to call itself educational. Even though the songs are nonsensical and don't typically teach lessons in a more thoughtful way with an ongoing story, like most other kids shows, they really like to hammer in this educational point. On their website here, we see Cocomelon, Educational songs and nursery rhymes for kids. In Coco Melon, JJ and his siblings go on fun, relatable adventures. They go to nursery, play, explore, and learn. The beautiful 3D animation and toe tapping songs tell tales of activities that young children all over the world will recognize. In addition to helping preschoolers learn letters, numbers, animal sounds, colors, and more, the videos impart pro social life lessons, providing parents with an opportunity to teach and play with their children as they watch together. Cocomel and branding themselves as something educational is a smart move. It is a way of seemingly giving more value to the content. It's an especially important argument for them to make since despite its popularity it has this undeniable reputation of giving sticky iPad kids brain rot. To be addicted to mindless entertainment is viewed as bad. People don't like that. However, if a toddler is obsessively watching something that has educational value, well then that's just good for their brain development. I believe the song names and lyrics are lazy and I'm of the opinion that the songs feel anti-educational at points. Something I've noticed is that the characters are animated doing things improperly. There's a bath song, and in this you have multiple shots of the characters just putting soap in their eyes, dousing their eyeballs with pure soapy burning sensation. Since kids greatly learn through a process known as modeling, where they copy what they see and people they look up to, it can be a bit alarming when the songs mess up this badly. Now it's time to get to the actual important matter. Educational or not, these songs are an attack on your ears. The lyrics in their songs are criminally 
Terrible. Criminally terrible. One of my lowest moments on this YouTube channel will now be me reading you the lyrics from a Coco Melon song. I will be reading some lyrics from the Yes Yes Vegetable song like it is a profound piece of media literature. Ahem. Peas, peas, it's time to eat your peas. Yes, 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 I want to eat my peas. Good, good, the peas are good for you. Yay, 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 I love them. Ooh. See, see, Teddy likes them too. One, two, three, he ate them up, you see. Ha, 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 the peas are all gone now. Yum, 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 we like them. Wow. Yeah. This same set of lyrics repeats a few more times until the song is over, except instead of peas, there are separate verses for squash, carrots, beans, and broccoli. And Cocomelon can't just leave their atrocities committed at bad song lyrics. No, they gotta go further. They gotta make the content even worse. In the background, there's also the added pain of laughing sound effects and other overused things. And one of the laughing sounds is just Balloon Boy from Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I got whiplash when I heard this. Now was this video just an excuse to hate on Cocomelon? Maybe. But the points I made came straight from the heart. If there is one thing I am in this life, it is a Cocomelon hater. Thanks for sticking around to this part of the video. If you want to see more from me, you can always like or subscribe. Also, I have finally done it. Since some of you are asking, I have finally started channel memberships. So if you want an extra way to support the channel and the content I create, the option's there. With a channel membership, you'll get access to perks such as member-only posts and polls, channel emojis, and member live streams where we can talk content, YouTube, make things, play games, answer questions, all that sort of stuff. And on the subject of live streaming, I do plan to start doing public live streams on this channel in the future. Right now, my stream setup is a little scuffed. However, I must confess, I have done a few secret live streams on my second channel recently, where Chat and I play Raise a Peter and other awful <laughs> things. So if you're interested, I have my second channel and social media linked in the description. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.